What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. Today I have something great for those of you who are waiting for the Manticore jailbreak. I'm going to show you exactly how it looks like the code and the jailbreak on a device. So recently the main developer of the Manticore team, our Ponage, posted this, which is a picture with Manticore jailbreak, which does show an important fact about this jailbreak. The fact that it will allow you to select whichever package manager you want on your device. So you will be able to get Cydia, you will be able to get Cilio, you will be able to get Zebra and even Installer 5. So this will be in the settings and it's actually nice that it will not be any war on package manager. With the Manticore jailbreak you will be able to run whatever you feel like and that's actually a great thing. The Manticore jailbreak was recently released as open source. It's not complete yet but it is now available as open source. I am one of the developers in here I joined recently. They did actually do a great job with this jailbreak. There are still some things to be done here. For example the jailbreak the implementation I'm currently working on that and the bootstrap package manager installation, but that's really simple to do However, the Manticore jailbreak will definitely be a great one in my opinion because it's actually centered around the user Not around some crazy fight between developers and so on This one will include any package manager you feel like this one will support all the tweaks So no artificial restrictions for the user just because we don't get along with whatever developer So that's actually great initially in the test run the jailbreak will support 14.5 and lower because it's based on Secura Verosa. But once a kernel exploit gets released, it will be popped into the Manticore jailbreak so that the jailbreak can be updated for 14.4, 14.4.1, 14.4.2, 14.5, and so on, all the way up to probably 14.7. 14.7.1 currently is signed. We don't have any kernel vulnerabilities, and neither we have any hopes for a kernel vulnerability for 14.7.1 anytime soon. That's particularly the reason why Uncover hasn't been updated in ages and why Torin hasn't been updated in ages for new versions. It's because we don't have any new kernel vulnerability that we can use. It's about the time we should get some because at this point many vulnerabilities have their disclosure time expiring so they can indeed be released to the public. They passed the 90 days but we don't have anything new for the moment in terms of vulnerabilities. So if you want to try the Manticore jailbreak as it is right now to see the progress, to see the code and so on, you go here on GitHub, you can press code and then download zip, or if you're using git, you can git clone recursive this repository here, but the download zip would probably work as well. Remember to get the amphid2 branch here, that's the one we're currently working on. Then you can unpack it, and of course if you want to compile it yourself, you can do that. Another advantage of the Manticore jailbreak would be the fact that it's completely open source, not partially, not closed source, it's completely free and open source, which means that that if you do not believe that our IPA file is trustworthy and you want to check every single line of code that you're going to run on your device for backdoors or security risks or whatever, you can do that and you can still compile the jailbreak and run it without having to trust us. You can of course open it in Xcode, I'm going to trust and open here and of course I'm going to run it on my test device. So when you open the project it looks something like this, here in the jailbreak you have the jailbreak.mm file containing most of the jailbreak logic and then here of course you have the offset finder and then various utilities including plist utilities and so on but we also have snappy or libsnappy created by sam bingner this one is for the apfs snapshots it's basically used for remount and for the snapshots then in the view controller here you have the standard ui stuff you know buttons and functions that call the jailbreak and whatever but most things that interest you are probably here in the jailbreak.mm in the amphid.c which handles the amphid bypass rootfs in here which is the rootfs remount and then very various utilities and kernel utilities like set platform binary, give credentials to a process at an address, execute with credentials and so on, so various calls to get privileges or to spawn a process with whatever credentials or entitlements. So this is the most important part of the jailbreak, this is everything you need to know about the jailbreak and if you want to compile it, you go here on the signing capabilities. I'm going to say com.geo.jb and it says creating provisioning profile and that's it. And I'm going to say the same in here, jb, and it should fix that error. So at this point, if you don't have any red errors here on the signing and capabilities, then you will be able to run it on your device. And here, of course, you can see the deployment target. I'm going to set it all the way down to 13.0 for my case to be able to run it on that phone. And there you go. But do keep in mind, this works with Secular Rosa, so 14.3 all the way down to 14.0. Now, 
Now, as you can see, it compiles fine. So we did not leave anything behind. You do have the entire code base in here, no missing frameworks and stuff like that. So now we can install the jailbreak and we will be able to see it in action. So you can see in here, Manticore jailbreak seems to work fine, seems to load. And it says in here, yes, that it is indeed incompatible, but that's because this device is running 13.4.1. However, the jailbreak is currently in development. So that's understandable as well. So you can see in here on the package management, we would basically have the option to install whichever package manager we want. And also we have the normal settings like restore rootfs, disable updates, max memory limit, load tweaks, load diamonds, and even disable screen time and so on. So it's basically your standard Torin or uncovered settings, but this is how the jailbreak will look like. Though I should probably fix this font, it shouldn't be black, even if the device is not compatible. Yes, this one will only work on 14.0 and up, not 13.4, which is currently what I'm running here. However, yes, that's how the jailbreak is coming along. It's currently work in progress, but you do have the full code in here if you want to check it out or if you want to investigate. So I would definitely recommend it to try it out once it gets released, because this is going to be a fully open source jailbreak, as well as the Pwn My jailbreak, which is already open source in there. So definitely looking forward for this jailbreak. But yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geos now. Till the next time, peace out.